Well, when I came down the other day, all of these tomato plants had all but withered and died. But as you can see, they're perking up again. They all looked a bit like the worst part of that one and this one. But after a good watering, they seem to be coming back to life. So with a bit of luck, we'll get those out in the soil today. What's the matter with you, boy? Hey, eh? you shouldn't be out here. It's too hot for you. Molly, oi, be good boy. You've got your drink, you've got your bed. You go and play in there. All right, let's have a look at the damage in the greenhouse. Here we go. Oh. That storm knocked a pane of glass out of here the other day. Not good, not good. It's all right, Molly. Oh. Cucumbers, we've got some more coming back to life with a bit of luck. Although something's eaten the top off that one. Uh, but the top on that one still hasn't gone. And there's another one poking through there. Let's have a look underneath, see if we've got any unwanted visitors. No, it looks clear and clean. So, they're not hiding there. So these are the extra tasty burpless cucumbers that I ordered to replace the ones that got eaten by whatever last week. Lobelia in pots needs to go out in the garden now. Likewise the cosmos. They're getting quite tall now. Even the sweet peas started to pick up some height. So that's a good sign. These were flat. I mean absolutely flat. They were drained bone dry. Now the soil is still quite moist. That's good. I threw some more seeds on the carrots the other day. So these are nantes and I can see some seedlings poking through. And that's the other one of the nantes and there's more seedlings poking through there as well. Good. Lots of cosmos, still no rudbeckia. So I don't know anything about rudbeckia. If anybody can give me any hints and tips on why they're not growing. I mean that must be a couple of months now in the thing. Right, this one had almost withered away, but it looks like a good watering has done it the world of good. And I seem to have what might be a delphinium poking its nose through. We'll soon know. There's no other delphiniums. I've got something's coming through here, but I suspect that's a weed. Uh, one surviving bean. And one whatever looks like a sweet corn yeah it does it looks like a sweet corn all the rest of my sweet corn are out now these tomatoes looked a bit like this the other day and a good bit of water and still needs a bit more and they're starting to perk up they're going outside today we are doing well here on the goodisha and the assembly meal for them Although we've had a, a bit of a casualty there with the weather. And there as well, this Godisha here is looking quite dead, as are the ones underneath. Although the Cosmos here seems to like the sun, although that one is withering under the sun. And look, a sunflower and another sunflower. Now, they've been in there for months and they've suddenly decided to germinate. Right here... We have some sort of brassica, but I can't remember what it is. It's called Clapton, whatever that is. Planted on the 4th of May. Uh, so I'll have to look up what Clapton is. And here, we've got some broccoli. And I can't see what that is. Broccoli something. Oh, Rudolph. Right, okay. So that'll probably have a red nose. Well... I wouldn't believe this. I planted what I thought was some lettuce in here, but they certainly don't look like lettuce leaves. None of them. In fact, I haven't got a clue what they are. Uh, there was supposed to be cos lettuce. Now that looks like it could be a cos lettuce and that one. But not a lot else there. Something that a good old scratch in there. So i have to check out and see what's coming into my greenhouse in the evenings. These tomatoes down here 
they've had a good soaking in the growing bags and they've been fed as well and they're in flower now so they're coming along quite nicely uh, as are all the ones along here so looks like we may be getting some sort of fruit on those shortly again the sunflowers not liking all this heat I think I'm going to give them a soaking and stand them outside now although they are good slug bait so if I put them outside it means it's going to attract slugs uh, I don't know what to do with them but there we go that's it as it is at the moment in the greenhouse I would say judging by the perspiration on my forehead that we are talking about 85 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit in there and very humid so it means the watering has been doing its trick but still not best all right let's get on with some work a nice little trickle of water coming from the, the new pump that's been put in the pond and uh, I'm going to replace it because I'm not happy with it it's only got about a three inch stem which means you've got to have it sort of loaded on a rock near the surface I'm getting a floating one this time that way it's dependent on the sun as much as this one is but it's not going to uh, have to be so critically situated I mean this as I put a shadow over it stops the flow of water take the shadow away and it starts again so it's not just basically daylight it needs full sunlight which isn't too bad in the summer this is what happens if I leave a shadow over it it's got some sort of power but not enough to make it actually work come away from there and lo and behold we're back to full flow again <sighs> Somebody's been digging up one of my plants. I don't know what it is. Marigolds are starting to come up now. So it won't be long before they're putting some flower in. Those plants I got from Mick the other day don't seem to have rooted, which is a bit of a pity because uh, they would have added a nice bit of colour. Never mind, we'll have something for next year. This is one of my bulbs that I planted a little while ago, and there's another one there. Uh, I haven't got a clue what they are, they were just called 20 mixed summer bulbs and there's one coming up there as well uh, no doubt they'll come up and give me some sort of flowers no I'm not in the way of the oh, I see back to life now back to reality I need to get rid of all this lot down here Kind of spoils it a little bit. I'll get the hoe out on that today. And having a look here, something's been eating my peas. Um, I've got one here still going well on the end. This one looks as though it's almost completely eaten off. And that one, and that one, and that one. It's got to be slugs or snails. This one's had a good attack. That bean has the top pinched out, so that's not going to go very far. Uh, as for the rest of the beans, well, look at the state of that. It's got holes all over it. Um, that's the ones you can actually see. Right. If we go around here, this little bean plant at the end seems okay. And that one. The sweet corn's doing well. There's no sign of any... Uh, tax on that but the peas and beans have certainly had their fair share of breakfast servings for slugs or snails yes yeah, so looks like the corn is the best survivor here so that's doing well as for the potatoes well what can we say we've definitely got a harvest too shortly I think it's going to be this pot or that pot that I take out um, that's the one at the end um, for salad spuds 
Marley's complaining because I've left him in the shed. But in all honesty, if I bring him out here, he's going to be complaining even more now. I've got some, uh, some yellow on my markies over there. I don't know what that is. No doubt some of you experts can tell me there's yellow on that one as well. Now these were planted in a manure enriched soil. Um, well in fact so were all of these potatoes, only those ones are in the ground. Um, I'd like to know what's affecting them. Here, <sighs> Tony's kindly brought over some doors and windows from where for me to complete my shed. Um, unfortunately I don't think he realised that I had my spring onions planted in here. So a couple of them have been squashed a bit. Never mind. Uh, could have been mistaken for grass. Uh, there are some survivors. So I'll get those marked off so the people know they're there. The beetroot, well, boltardy. Good crop. I had an excellent crop last year. I expect the same this year. And today, we're going to put some stuff in here. I've got some jazzy potatoes. And I'll put a couple of rows of those in near the, the wood there. And I'm going to put some stakes in and get those previously withered looking tomato plants here. They're a good outdoor variety, so I should have lots of uh, crops off those. Uh, this is my mate Tony, Tony O'Neill of UK Here We Grow, he's obviously being filmed. Uh, I won't interfere with him, he's obviously got lots going on at the moment and he's always been very very helpful to me. Right, I'm going to get stuck in and do some work. First job is planting those jazzy potatoes over there. Then, get the stakes in to do my tomato plants. Back later. So I've made two rows for my spuds. These are my lates. And I'll be putting those in in a couple of minutes. And here, I've turned it over and raked it out so I can plant some tomatoes. I'm going to interspace some marigolds with it because they are apparently a good deterrent for aphids. So we'll see how that goes. Crack on James, crack on. Well you might notice that the, the jet from the fountain is actually getting further now. Just through turning the solar panel on its side. Amazing what a little bit of ingenuity can do. Back later, bye bye. There's the first bunch of tomatoes in. These are money makers and in the middle I planted some marigolds. These are African marigolds uh, which are there primarily to deter aphids and they're pretty effective at doing that. So my kind next door neighbour Di, elderly chap, not that I'm a youngster, um, He's bringing me down a couple more money makers just so I can make up an extra row or two. So everything's going well. This guy right up in the background there talking to uh, a very nice chap. And he'll be down in a few minutes with his tomato plants. In the meantime, I've been working here for the last two hours. Digging rows for potatoes, turning and raking this area for the tomatoes, and then planting the tomatoes and marigolds. I'm just going to water them in and then go and put a brew on. And I'll be back later. Bye. Guess what it's time for, folks? It's time for coffee. There we go.
bit is connected. Now time and to that's what I'm waiting for. A nice cup of freshly brewed black coffee. Oh, look at that. Pure Java. Couldn't ask for better. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with Caitlin. We up to Caitlin. Here comes Daddy. He's got his camera with him. And he is loving it since he's had his hair cut. Right, let's have a look and see what we've done today. Obviously I've watered everything, so giving the spuds a good water in there. Tied up the bees and bees and peas, peas and beans. Uh, the ones that the slugs haven't devoured. Uh, tidied up the pond a little bit. And I'm afraid to say that the plants that you sent me, Mick, uh, they just got killed off in the post, really. Uh, you never know, they might come to something, you know, but all I seem to have now is straw. Uh, it's definitely withered away. Never mind, it was a good attempt, but I've got some other plants coming up in between my established ones. And lots of pond skaters, but I haven't seen any of the tadpoles today. I wonder where they're hiding. Unless they've already froggified and come out. But I doubt it, it's only a few days. They weren't, they didn't even have their rear legs when I put them in. Uh, right, so what we've got, we've got two types of tomato here. We thought that uh, they were money makers, but it turns out they were gardener's delight. Uh, those two are gardener's delight there, yeah, that's a gardener's delight. And the rest of them are money makers. And in the middle, we've got marigolds, and at the end, we've got another money maker tomato at the end. Uh, along this side, I'm hoping they catch. These are the sunflowers that were in my greenhouse. They looked a bit weather beaten, but once they're outside and they're staked up as they are now, they should be okay. That one, I managed to snap the, the main stem as I was getting up. I was struggling to get back on my feet and I grabbed the cane and it snapped. So that one's done its thing. I might have to replace it while he's seen children. This is how he is when he sees children. What he's seen is little Joseph and Caitlin up there. And the other thing I've done today is I turned this over and dug a couple of rows for potatoes. So these are I intended to put marquees in, it looks like I used all the seed up from those, so I put some more sarpomera for the late crop. My next task, which will be tomorrow, assuming we don't have another thunderstorm, is to come down and weed this lot, because that's all amongst my asparagus beds, and we don't want all those weeds amongst the asparagus. And I think I will get some action on that path, clear it and put some wood chip down and that's, that's it basically uh, hey Marley what are you up to <laughs> what do you want babe Marley what are you after come here hey. right so as I say that's about it for today just going to go around the greenhouse wow oh, once more there's the watering can and then watering the tomatoes sunflowers and spuds then it's time to go home 
I was talking about a pain that fell out during a storm the other night. There it is there. So, that pain's a pain, as they say. So it kind of broke and split off. So I'll have to get that fixed. I'll just take all that out and put a completely new panel in there. It'll be a lot easier than trying to repair what's there. So that's a new panel there, a new panel there, a new panel there, and a new panel there. Four new panels needed. And the door. All right, so it's time to get a move on. So we've got Tony there talking to himself. He's actually talking to YouTube, but not quite at the moment. Bye-bye, <sighs> Tony. Bye-bye. Well, almost time to go home. That's the potatoes in. Blood fish and bone and horse manure in there. Um, and I've covered it over with general purpose compost. Believe it or not, it started raining now. This little so and so crawled through a hole in the side of that shed and it looks like he's been sniffing around looking for rats. Uh, Guy came and found him in the shed with his lead going underneath it. <laughs> A crafty little so and so. Uh, here, plenty of tomatoes outside, plus, I've got plenty of tomatoes in the greenhouse, so I'm not going to have any shortage of tomatoes this year. Uh, gooseberries, well, can't wait to see what's going to happen with those. I'm going to get one more crop off the rhubarb before it dies off this uh, winter or summer. I nearly forgot, I've still got some seed potatoes left there, so I'll take them back in the shed. Uh -huh. And now, for something more interesting, we're going to have a look at what's happening down by the greenhouse. I only spotted this a little while ago, and to say I was pleased would be an understatement. Uh, sun's gone down, pump stopped working. But it doesn't matter because it started to rain now. I can see a little tadpole. That's good news. It's the only one. I haven't seen any others today. At least it's worked out there's a rock there so it'll know when it comes to getting out what to do. Look here. What have we got here? We have got an abundance of fruit forming on my strawberries. There's going to be quite a crop on here. That's a good couple of pounds coming up there. And even on this one, which I thought had gone past its best, there's a few fruit starting to form on here now. Um, it's a shame it didn't uh, establish early enough in the season, but Nevertheless, I've been compensated by the abundance on this one. So well, my sweet corn is really, really pleasing me. In fact, it's taken off better than Dye's and Tony's, so I'm pleased about that. But as usual, my beans have been decimated. So, I mean, that's despite all the eggshells everywhere. Didn't do a trick. Um, I'm going to put some, some wool stuff around it and see if that gets rid of it. Or kills off the, the slugs. I don't kill them, it just stops them travelling. Everything's watered. Had lots of bees today. Oh, there's one now. On the chives. Seems they like this. So, there is a bumblebee there. Yeah. Uh, yeah we've had lots of uh, bee activity around here today. Hoping this one's going to go back to the hive soon because it's going to start chucking down. It's definitely busy, busy, busy getting all the pollen. And good luck to it. That's why I left the flowers to go. Because I do know that bees like a bit of the old chive pollen. There we go. Makes the honey quite interesting as well. Can't wait to get some honey off these allotment bees. Because they really are 
getting a good diverse range of uh, pollen. Right, that's it. Bit of a tricky one there. I'm not walking very well today, so anytime I've got anything in two hands, I'm, I'm in trouble. Well, I've pinched out all the side shoots on these today. They're coming up quite well, They're almost up to the shelf, so everything up here is going to have to be moved. And the broccoli I shoved down there because it was suffering with heat exhaustion. And uh, same with my Brussels sprouts. I'm going to repot that now. I'm going to do it now before I forget. That's my watermelon. It's the only one I've got. And uh, of all the seeds I've planted, so I do want to rescue it. So I'll go get a pot now and do that. And these looked a bit rough earlier on, but having watered them, they're now coming all back to life again. Even that little bit of sweet corn there, the last one of the bunch. Didn't mention these sweet corn here, did I? These are swift. They weren't quite as swift as the other ones. But there we go. That's it for today. Still no guard frogs, but... Okay. Oh, lots of weeds coming up amongst my take, you see. So, let's cover them over. I don't want to uh, be pulling weeds up when I get this buds out. Somebody doesn't like the rain. He's coming trotting over this way. Molly! Oh, we've got a little a bee. There are ways out, so I won't get in his way. You'll find in a minute there's a gap in the roof. I'll get out of the way just in case he gets irritated and decides to sting me. They do get a bit agitated once they can't find a way out. You got the other side of the sod. There we go. You nearly got it. Nearly got it. One more. Go on up the other side. Go on. Oh, you missed it. Silly sausage. Oh well, he'll get there eventually. He's on the right pane, but he's not going to the right side of it. Well, it's 5.45. Time to go home. Uh, put a little bit more in there. I've got some Gadesha and also some uh, and some Olabelia. Uh, so we'll see how they take, hey? It does look as though they've got a little bit scorched in the greenhouse. So hopefully it will survive better outdoors. I don't think I need to put any more plants in here somehow. By the time this lot's established, it's going to be very colourful. Plus, of course, you've got the irises in the pond. So, all in all, it should be a good display. Sneaky little Marley. He's gone around the back of these greenhouse doors that tell you that for me. And he's looking to see if he can get under that fence again. Come here, Marley. Wait, come on, let's go walkies. Do you want to go walkies? That's one way of getting his attention. Do you want to go walkies? Hey! Yes, you do. Molly, do you want to go walkies? Hey. Up. Up, Molly, come here. Come here. What are you looking at? Oh, chickens. You're looking at chickens, are you? Over there. I thought they put the girls away now, but they must have left it till later. Whoops, it's gone a bit too far, Zoomy. I've lost them, I've lost them. Lost the chickens. They should be there. There they are. Cluck, cluck, cluck. That's about my best chicken impression. Or I could do one that goes da 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 da. Oi, Molly! Do you want to go walkies? Do you want to go walkies? You don't want to go walkies? <laughs>